Good morning, I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel as we continue our round-the-clock coverage of post-tropical storm Hermine. It's sitting about 300 miles off the coast here from Rehoboth Beach in Ocean City, Maryland, off to the east-southeast. But I want to take you up and down the coast. We've got pictures, and you can see what it's doing to the ocean, churning it up from the south shore of Long Island, Atlantic City, a frothy Atlantic. And again, the big concern are the rip currents. And the lifeguards at your beach will let you know what the status is, whether you can even go in the water. And let's go down to Ocean City, uh, uh, I should say, yeah, down to Ocean City, Maryland. This is the Ocean Gallery Boardwalk Cam. And that's at 2nd Street, looking south towards the pier. But look at all the sand on the eastern side of the boardwalk. And the bikers this morning have to uh, kind of dodge that. We've got a little bit of sand here on the Rehoboth Beach boardwalk. That blew in yesterday with the wind and the rain. But today the winds have backed off. We're gusting at about 18 to 20 miles an hour here, sustained at 15. And it's just a gorgeous uh, Sunday, Labor Day weekend, early September. And enjoy the cooler weather and the drier weather in this area and up into the northeast because it's going to get hot and sticky again. Temperatures here are going to head back to the low 90s by the middle and latter part of this week. We appreciate you joining us as we follow Hermine. It became as it became an invest 99L back on August 18th. I can tell you I've been following it now for quite a long time, since the week before last. Then we had TD8, Tropical Depression number 8, which was really a non-story uh, in uh, North Carolina, not even a drop of rain. Let's bring in Dr. Greg Postel. And as the track uh, continued east-northeast yesterday and last night, and right now, that takes the effects uh, farther off the coast. We still have the surf. It's come down, though, but we still have the rip currents. And we don't have as much wind. And the offshoot is, Dr. Postel, a lot of us, uh, in fact, just about everybody now is back in the sunshine on the beaches for this Labor Day weekend. That's good news, Mike. I mean, really, uh, we're dealing with a system that continues to move away from the coast. It's